Welcome back, long time no see. This one I couldn't keep to myself, I just had to share it with y'all. So this is the PC version of Need for Speed Underground 2. Today I'm going to show you how I got this working on the Steam Deck with Proton. So follow me down in the description below for some links. And hit that subscribe button while you're there. You're going to take your copy from the disk in ISO form and extract it to the current folder, wherever you put it. Extract it just like a zip file here, and inside the disk we have the setup. Easiest way to get a wine prefix for this is to just add it to Steam. We're going to switch over to Steam, and the properties for the setup, make sure you set it to run with the latest Proton as of this version. Right now it's 902. And when you run that within Steam, install on the desktop here, we're just going to go through the installation. I'm not going to change anything here. This is sped up times eight. And that's it, you would think. You run this, we're gonna encounter issue number one of several, insert the disc. We'll come back to that. You can hit okay as many times as you want. It's not gonna change it. And that's gonna be pretty much the wrap up for step one. Step two, this is just to make life a little bit easier. I already have this installed, Proton Tricks. Open up Discover, where you would install more apps. Look for Proton. Hit enter, should be Proton Tricks, first one there. Go ahead and install that. And then after you've installed that, down under Utilities, you can launch Proton Tricks. We're going to use this to find wherever it's set up in Need for Speed. Here's that number. I'm going to take note of mine. Your number might be different there. Within our home folder, we're going to show hidden files. Go into Local, into Share, and into Steam. And it's quite nested into folders, so it's because I'm losing my way, I'm going to actually move this window down here. And follow the path Steam, then Steam Apps, and then Compat Data, and then that number that we saved from earlier that we noted down from the Proton Tricks. So going even deeper here, I remember from having installed this that it goes into Program Files, Old School, EA Games. Need for Speed Underground. And then here we have the EXE. If you want to skip ahead, you can go ahead and right click Speed 2 and then add it to Steam, but we'll get to that in a second. It's always good to pull up the wiki for an old game like this when you're when you're installing it to fix any known issues because it's probably been documented already. First thing I'm going to do is get controller support. Where is it here? If we scroll down, you should see N Need for Speed Underground X Extended Input. It'll lead you to a GitHub page. Just to make sure I'm getting the right one. I'm going to actually go up here to the controller section and link to me somewhere else. We're going to follow this to the GitHub and install this from the source. This, will, this is going to fix problem number two or three, depending on how you're numbering them. I'm going in a weird order here. Bear with me. And then we're playing Underground 2. So download Underground 2. I'm not sure what the difference between the pack and the Windows 7 pack is, but I've tested the Windows 7 pack and that, that's been working for me. Same thing with the ISO. We're going to extract the same auto text subfolder here. And inside of it, we've got these files. I know we don't need the README, but we do need everything else. I'm going to hit the little plus button to select all of these. We're going to copy these files. And then we're going to go back to the Need for Speed folder and paste those files. So it's kind of getting ahead of myself here. This is going to fix the controller problem, make it really easy for us to get the controller working. And then if you didn't already, we're going to right-click Speed to EXE, add that to Steam. So now we have an easy way to launch this from game mode. And if you just play it outright, it's not going to work because we need to make sure it's using Proton. So same way as before, we're going to go to Properties of Speed 2 and set this to use the same latest version of Proton, whatever it is in the future day that you're watching this. And then now if we work it, we should get the same error as before. Please insert disk. So to solve the please insert disk, don't ask me why this fixes it. We're going to make a new file in the same folder here. Call it foobar in this instance. No file extension. And that's it. A little sanity check here to make sure it's going to work. And it does. But I've noticed that it's not doing the widescreen fix. So going back to that PC wiki, we're going to also snag the widescreen fix. 
Same thing as before. We're gonna extract this auto detect auto detect subfolder. We're gonna grab the goodies inside of it. It has a duplicate. It has the D input eight. I think that's like the mod loader, the injector. So when it asks you if you want to overwrite that file, it's okay to hit yeah. Go ahead and overwrite. And then in scripts, it asks if you want to put files into the already existing folder scripts. You know, merge and yes, we want to leave scripts because this mod folder also came with scripts. And then do we want to write the input age? Sure, doesn't matter. We can skip that. Bada boom. So now we've got the widescreen fix, we've got the controller fix, and we've got the foo bar. To pretty this up a little bit, we're going to go in here and rename this to Need for Speed Underground 2. And that way, if you have any... What's that thing called? You want to scrape this and get the artwork. You can easily scrape it when the title's correct. And then pause it in just a second here. I'm going to warn you in advance. Make sure it was loading that injector, that D input 8. I found that in launch options, you're going to need to add wine dll overrides space in quotes d input 8 equals nb comma separated and then close it percent command percent go into the text files inside of the script so you can actually poke around and change the x input won't go into that but here in the widescreen fix i'm going to explicitly de declare <laughs> i'm going to explicitly declare 1280 by 800 we're going to save that Okay, now as a sanity check, when we run it, it is the proper resolution. This is looking great. Last thing you'll need to do is go into the controller layout and download just any old layout. I used the fourth one down. If you go to search, you'll see Need for Speed Underground 2 gamepad. In front of you here, but I'm happy with this. If you like this video, hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.